Hey guys, it's Calamira, and you're checking out the fabulous Shibuti.com. So is that a Long Island accent I'm hearing? It is, yes. I'm from New York, Long Island, as you can tell. I know, it's, I can't get rid of it. I don't know what to do. Everyone tells me about it. I'm from West Hempstead. You know West Hempstead? I'm I've from that area. Yeah, West Hempstead. I'm in Napa County, so I was born and raised there. So you know how that goes. <laughs> I do have the accent. True. You must be a Howard Stern fan if you grew up in Long Island. <laughs> I am well. I'm very well aware of Howard Stern. When he interviews like the big celebrities, I'm always curious because he always asks them something crazy. So, but I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Because <laughs> you uh, you're friends with Maria Menounos. Of course, yes, of course. Yeah, because cause she's like a regular on the Howard Stern show. <laughs> oh, she's fabulous. I love her. Her um. I her show was yesterday, we're all watching, we're big fans. You know, I've met her a couple of times. She's so nice, so and she's Greek yeah, and you, I'm Greek, so you've heard her laugh, right, where it sounds like a machine gun? Oh uh, no, no, she has a machine gun laugh? No, she has a gorgeous laugh. It's a nice girly laugh. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> sure. And then uh, I'm assuming so have you have you met John Stamos yet? I haven't met John Stamos, but I love him, and I love the yogurt that he promotes on the commercial. Mm. Um, you know, oh, he's a Chopin, you well, know. Uh, but I love him. Um, you know, he's so handsome, yeah. As a kid growing up, a full house, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so would you rather be, like, the number one star in Greece or, like, let's say the t- top 100 star in the United States? That's a really good question. Um, I would, you know what, I kind of feel like you can, I would want to be not number one uh, in uh, America because it's like two, I can't, it's like then you dedicate your whole life, you're not going to raise your kids well, I feel like, because you're just about your work. I, I would want to be like top, even 200 I'm happy with, just to be able to still do what you love. But I feel like you just, in Greece, it's different because uh, I've been around, I'm in the business 10 years, so I kind of feel like I'd rather be, I think, top 100 in um, America, basically, to answer your question. Like, like, how often do you visit Greece? All the time. I'm going, actually, this week. Um, I go maybe twice a year. I mean, uh, yeah, twice a year. I used to go every three months, but, you know, I have twin boys, so um, I took a year and a half off, and now I'm still getting back into stuff. So I go, like, Twice a year for sure. I heard like it, when you go to like, the nightlife out there, like the clubs and all that, it's like a ton of there. You could still smoke indoors, indoors and stuff. So is it true? It's like a ton of smoking inside. <laughs> yeah, they do smoke. Uh, it, it's crazy. It depends where you go. Um, uh-huh. Like we are going to go to Mykonos. Have you ever gone to Mykonos? No. Nah. Oh, darling, Shibuti, I got to, you got to answer this, I'll tell you where to go. You got to go to Mykonos, because it's really like the party island, you go there for like four days, and it's like crazy. Everybody, it's like an international place, everybody goes there, and then you go to like a quiet island to relax, like Sandorini, Santorini, so um, it has everything, Greece. It is one of the most gorgeous places in the world, I'm telling you, hands down. Musically, who do you want to work with in the future? Uh, like American artists? Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. I'm a fan of so many people. I mean, in my dreams, uh, this is just dreaming. It would be like the big artists like Beyonce, Rihanna, but that's like never going to happen. But, um, um, I don't know, I'm pretty open to work with anybody, like in all genres of music. Because I listen to all music, not just pop, I listen to country, I listen to R&B, hip-hop, you know, a fuse of everything. Yeah, I mean, it's, you, you never say never, because somebody like Drake or whatever, he'll have like an R&B singer that you've never even heard of, but then all of a sudden that singer will get on a Drake song, and then now everyone has heard of it, you know. You know, that is true, that is true, and Drake did work with Beyonce. All right, I'll shoot out for Drake. Drake for me and then Drake. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sure to let him know if, if only yeah. I had the right number. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
Now, um, so is it, I mean, this is like, this is my one, like, really corny question, but I'll ask anyway. So is it gyro or gyro? Uh, it's, uh, well, okay, there's two ways to say it. The American version is gyro, like gyro, and then in Greek it's gyro. You know, our English is very typical, gyro. <laughs> but, uh, in, in America we just say gyro. But that's so, but no, I'm saying if a guy, so if a guy said gyro in front of you, you would think he's unsophisticated, right? No, no. I would think it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would. I think that's very cute. Mm-hmm. A for effort. So, yeah, like, what do you think of uh, Iggy Azalea? Oh, oh, of who? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, like, love her. Iggy I love Azalea. her. Yeah, I love, 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 love. She's got her own thing going on. I love her video clip, you know, the fancy and everything. I really love her, and I'm, like, so excited for her because she must be living such a high moment right now because she's totally um, just taking over. I mean, she's on the radio. She's nominated for all these awards. Like, I'm just kind of, like, I'm so excited for her. So I just mm-hmm. I think she's great. Yeah. And um, as far as, like, venues, do you, like, what's your favorite kind of venue to perform at? You know, um, I either like, I'm, I'm very extreme, so I either like it small and intimate, you know what I mean, with, like, candles and it's just, like, you know, a little, um, the talk, piano, blah, blah, blah. Or I like to do stadium. I mean, if I had a first choice, it'd be stadium because you want to be able to entertain and have a lot of dancers and use props and have an LED in the back and make it really wow with effects. That's like my favorite. But um, if I can't do that, then I would like to do, I like to do more intimate stuff, you know, because then it's really uh, you can pay attention to it like every person because it's more intimate. So on your, on your rider, do you have anything like crazy on your rider? Oh, uh, my diva, you mean? Do I demand stuff? <laughs> yeah. No, not at all. I think I'm the most easiest artist in the world. I think I'm too easy. I think I gotta be more demanding. Uh, no, but I do just want, um, you know, water, like, um, towels, and, uh, honestly, I think that's it. I don't know if anything else. Uh, but, and just like security, you know, just so that you can get ready, I like to get ready, and then, after the show, I like to go quickly to change, dry up, and then I'm all about pictures and autographs. But I'm just like, no, I'm not yet with that because I just want to, oh, I like to take off my costume and I hate when I'm sweating. I change, you know, fix mm-hmm. my makeup, and then, you know, take pictures. But I'm not really demanding, like, oh, I need this. I need a white house. I need these flowers. No, because the venues are different, and I just want towels and a lot of water and security. Yeah. True. Yeah, you need the security from all the guys that are tracking to you. <laughs> oh, ooh, yes, yes. <laughs> but, I don't know if you know, like, Mal- I don't know if you've read any Malcolm Gladwell books, but I was wondering if you, well, there's, like, the 10, he has this thing called the 10,000 hours rule. I was wondering if you believe in the 10,000 hours rule, and that's just, like, the people like the Beatles or all the experts in the world, like, they didn't become who they are until they've reached, like, 10,000 hours of experience. I was wondering if you kind of believe in that or something. Oh, I've never heard that. But the way you said it, I mean, that does make sense because nothing can teach you experience. And I've been professionally in the business, you know, for mm-hmm. 10 years. This is my 10th year. And it mm-hmm. is true because, you know, like, this year alone, I feel like I've learned so many things, even the way I perform, even the way I set things up. It's completely, it's like a 360. I feel like it's more professional than ever, and I'm more boom, boom, boom. So I, I think mm-hmm. that there's a lot of truth to that. And it's not by chance that they're so successful, you know what I mean? But nothing mm-hmm. beats experience. Like, you can't teach experience. You just have to get out there and live it and experience it and make the mistakes and just fall a million times and get up a million and one time. You know, that's just the way it is. Mm-hmm. So the more experience, the, the better an artist. I definitely agree. Yeah. What's your most successful or popular song? I, I, I would say Secret Combination because um, it was the song I went to Eurovision with. Within mm-hmm. the States, I know they're not familiar with Eurovision. I wasn't even familiar with it either. But basically, it's like a huge American idol for all of Europe. And we got fair plays. I represented Greece. So it's called Secret Combination. And then um, I, I think also, so Please Don't Break My Heart which, um, you know, was uh, in collaboration with Fatman School, 
which was mm-hmm. awesome. He's like so awesome. So I'm glad that we did that song together. I think those two. And and this is the time for getting a lot of playing Europe. But Secret Combination and Please Don't Make My Heart are like the two big ones. All right. That's when he, yeah, when he said, please don't break my heart, I thought you were talking to me, and I was like, don't, I don't think I have that power. <laughs> but, um, so, one more, like, pop culture question. I don't know if someone would be 300, oh, okay. so, what do you think of, like, the Greek portrayal in that? I love it. I freaking love it. First of all, I am from Sparta, and so is my husband. And we just are, he's like, we are Sparta, you know. It's, first of all, it's an amazing story. I love it because, you know, we're from Sparta. But secondly, what's amazing is, is that it's, you know, there's a lot of truth to it. I mean, it's a true story. You know, or that whole, uh, story, you know, movie that the, you know, begs from truth. But in general, the story is true and it just makes it so much more powerful. And, um, there's so much great history in Greece and I just love it. And because of that movie, there, you see all these other movies that come out that are good, but I, no offense, but I feel like they don't, uh, go to the level of 300 because the story is real. You know, that's what beats everybody else is, is that the story is real. So I love it. I'm proud to be Spartan. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. When you visit, a lot of times you'll go to Sparta as well? Yeah, this, uh, actually our village, we pass right through it. So we go every year. We pass right through it. So it's like town. It's like part work and then part vacation? <laughs> yes, 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 it, yes. It's definitely work. I'm like, no, I'm just get a vacation. But that never happens. I actually have a People Magazine photo shoot the, se- the day I get there to the next day. I'm like, oh, my God. Uh, so, um, I'm really great, but I always, I always end up doing some work there, you know, and there's paparazzi and stuff like that, so, you know, you gotta always, like, you know, look at it when you leave the house, but, um, you know, uh, in the summertime, a lot of the TV shows, are, you know, they're kind of off, so it's not as many interviews, so it's a nice little, so it's like half work and half, you know, fun, so I'm really grateful that I can even, like, do that and, you know, and be able to be on TV when I want and then not be on TV when I want. I'm very grateful, so I don't mm-hmm. complain ever. True. Hey, guys, it's Calamira, and you're checking out the fabulous Shibuti.com. <laughs>